Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Racer Star SAC 2207 1888 KV motors. In this video I'm going to go over their specs and test it on my motor thrust end and on the second part of this review which is probably going to be released in the next couple of days I'm going to mount a set on my AJRC Batman 220 and head outdoors and test them out. Now first of all, unlike previous racer style motors, which are relatively cheap and usually do not excel in their quality, the SAC 2207 is a premium motor. It's available in 3 KV options. The one I have is the 1888 KV version, which is compatible with up to 6S LiPo batteries. You can also get a 2388 KV version, which is compatible with up to 5S LiPo batteries, and a 2688 KV version, which is compatible with up to 4S LiPo batteries. You can see 88 is a common value between these options, and I think that's because 8 is a lucky number in the Chinese culture. Inside this island tin box, along with the motor, you're getting an aluminum motor lock nut, and also 4 M3 screws that have a little bit of pre-applied Loctite. The weight of the motor, including the motor nut and the full length of the motor wires, is 34.43 grams. It features a hollow shaft made out of titanium. Over here you can find this grip pattern for better securing the propeller. The top side of the motor is designed to allow plenty of air to flow inside in order to cool it, and I noticed on my motor thrust test that it gets cool pretty quickly. The quality of the motor wires looks great, and these are 15 cm long, 20 AWG silicone wires. As expected from a premium motor, the motor bell is secured using an M3 hex screw. Once removed, you'll be able to detach the motor bell. The magnets are pretty strong, so you'll have to pull it. And as you can see, the internal parts of the motor look pretty good. And in addition, on the top side of the motor bell, you can find a rubber o-ring for reducing the motor vibrations. The next thing I've done is to bench test this motor using 4, 5 and 6 S like batteries using 5 and 6 inch propellers. As you are about to see, I burnt this motor when using a 5 S like battery with a 6 inch propeller and even though bench tests are a little bit harsher than real life, I recommend to stick to 4 S when using a 6 or a 7 inch propeller. The maximum measured thrust of about 1.7 kilograms was achieved while using a 6S LiPo battery with the Dalprop T5249 propeller. So this number is pretty good, but not crazy impressive. Having said that, the quality of the motors look great and thrust is not everything. So I'm looking forward to see how they're going to perform. And as I mentioned before, the test flight is going to be released in the next couple of days. Now I'm going to show you the thrust test and I'm also going to put a link down below to the results table in case you would like to check it out. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the Racer Star SAC 2207 motors, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.